Hi, welcome to this Google Connected Sheets and BigQuery tutorial. In this tutorial, we will go through the options of looking at your email logs from Google Workspace. So what we want to do is actually not only for this mailbox, but for all of the users in this Google domain, we would like to analyze the mail logs. Now, if you would go to reports and you would go to, in this case, the uh, email log search, if you would export it, you would only get like, you know, if you have a big domain, like an hour of email logs or even less, like half an hour. So the problem is you would like to have like days or even weeks of logging. Uh, and that is possible to export it to Google BigQuery. Now this may sound fancy and you may sound you may need a developer, but that's not the case. It's actually pretty simple and I would like to show that to you. Now intuitively, you would actually go here to the BigQuery export. However, that's not the, case, the location where you should be, interestingly enough. So this is not where you should be. Where you actually should go to, if you look at the, um, uh, the tutorial here on the Google uh, Workspace Admin Help, you need to go here to your services, then go to the app, and then go to Gmail setup. Now within the setup, you need to go to setup, and then here you can see email logs for BigQuery. Now you need to enable them, and here you need to select the particular project. Now this is already an interesting situation because what is a project and how do you get there? So what you need to do, you go to cloud.google.com, you click here on console, and if this is the first time you're here, you can actually set up with a credit card, um, which, will, which will get you like a $300 uh, free credit. So BigQuery doesn't use a lot of uh, uh, resources and thus it is yeah, almost for free if you don't have that much data in there. Um, so, uh, and you are always in control of it yourselves. So once you have set it up, you need to create a project, which you can do at the top of the screen. And here you can click on new project. Now I've already done so obviously. Now, while you've done so, you can actually just search for the services. So in this case, you can search for BigQuery and you can directly go there. Now, only setting up the project is good enough already. So we'll go back to the setup. And once you've done so, you can actually here select the particular project and then uh, specify a name for the data sets. You can even restrict the data to be in a specific geographical location, which in my case doesn't really matter, but in your case, it might matter. Now let's go to the next step. Once uh, the data has been uh, running for a day or so, you can actually find it here. Uh, and once you have it here, if we can look here, you can see the particular day. Now, this again may look like, uh, yeah, a lot of trouble to actually see the data. I mean, you can preview it, but then still, you know, you don't have all the data. Now there's an amazing feature, which is called Google Sheets Connected. Uh, so the Google Connected Sheet of BigQuery. So what you actually simply do, you go to a new sheet, you go to data, you go to data connectors and you go to connect to BigQuery. This is where you will connect it to your project that you created before. And in this case, we're going to go here to the particular database and I'll select this particular date. Now, now it's connecting the data. And actually, you will start to see it becoming quite a familiar interface. So this is just a spreadsheet like you used to use for these kind of things. Now, the most interesting thing, obviously, with these kind of things, I mean, you can filter on it and so on, which is just like a normal spreadsheet. But the most interesting thing is a pivot table. So in this case, I'm going to create one. I'm going to create it on a new spreadsheet. Now, I would like to know, um, you know, how many users receive how many emails. So uh, what I will do, I will uh, put here the destination address, which is just a column. So these are the columns uh, uh, of the particular uh, data set. So uh, in this case, I would like to have my destination address as a row. And I would also like to use the destination address as a value. And I would like to count the amount of times that a message, you know, that, that, that this address was counted in the whole, um, in the whole uh, database. So um, let's apply this. And as you can see, it's now calculating, it's running through BigQuery. Now, as you can see, we see all the different destination email addresses. And actually we can also see that uh, the amount of emails per user. Now in this case, maybe I would like to even sort it on a, a descending. 
So now you can see, okay, this is the user that has the most of it. And, and then, you know, your normal uh, tips and tricks of Google Sheets uh, come to life. You know, you can have a look at conditional formatting and look at a color scale, for example, and, and you know, really uh, show, uh, you know, which users uh, actually use it most. Even when you're uh, uh, filtering it in another way, as you can see, even uh, uh, you know, on this, uh, this way, still you can see it pretty nicely. But maybe you would also like to know some other things. So maybe you would like to know the amount of messages from the one user to another user. So maybe what I can do is also say, okay, I would like to have the source uh, address. So I would like to add the source as a column in this case. And now I'm going to add that. So now it will add all the sources here as well. And as we can see, you know, there are, there are a few email addresses that send certain emails throughout this uh, group. And again, here we can also uh, uh, sort this on a descending way. And there it is. So you can actually see right away, you know, uh, which users have which messages and uh, how many. So this is, I think, interesting information. Uh, and you can even, you know, easily add, for example, the totals to it. So you can make sense out of it. Now, what you might want to do is actually create a graph out of it. So you would like to know which sender send the, sends the most email addresses, uh, emails. So you would like to know which sender sends the most emails. So now Google Sheets has another Google Sheets. So now Google Sheets has another interesting feature, which is called Explore, which automatically you know starts to generate certain um, graphs based on the data that it sees. Now in this case, I would actually like to have a histogram of. Um, so let me see histogram of message info dot destination. Now, as you can see, it generates a nice histogram. However, the problem is it's not, there's not, you know, this one has only one count, but as we can see, we can see more. So actually what we would like to do is a histogram of the grand total of it. So you can actually just simply ask the question as you can see, and pretty cool as far as I can tell, you can easily see you know, uh, what a histogram would do in this case. So I'm gonna insert the chart, but I don't wanna have it uh, that, I would like to have a pie chart. Now, this is, I think, a pretty cool way of you know, creating your charts and actually asking a question to Google. Uh, well, as you can see, there are lots of ways to pretty easily actually interpret your data uh, that you have out there. So I wish you all the best and I hope this helped.